What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, I'm gonna be real with you guys. This is like the fourth time I've recorded this. I've been having technical difficulties, but I'm gonna try to get this done this time. As you can see, I already have the high five on the screen because it's like the fourth recording that I've done, but I'll make sure it's the best one yet. Make sure you go to greenlightdfs.com to join the squad for the lines. Last night, once again, we dominated like we have all season. We've damn near got near 300 every single day since NBA started, so make sure you join Join the squad, greenlightdfs.com. It's super easy now. All you have to do is register for the site. There's a member login area. Register for the site. Go pick out what package you want. And an hour before, all you got to do is go to lineup access and you can view the lineup right there. You don't have to hit me up. You don't got to worry about not receiving an email. None of that stuff. You are good to go. Super easy, super simple. Nobody else has it set up that simple, but I had to make it like that for my fam. You guys are good to go, man. So it's super simple. You guys will automatically be taken off. If you get a daily, you'll automatically be taken off at midnight. So the next day when you get it again, boom, you have access again. All right? So good luck, everybody. Go to Greenlight DFS and let's get this money together. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Last night's high five did solid. Patrick Beverly was a bit of a letdown, but he was all right. He played well defensively like I expected. He was okay. He didn't hurt me much at all. All right? Starting off at point guard, D'Angelo Russell. Orlando is not good guarding point guards, guys. They give up. They gave up last year. They gave up over 37 DraftKings points a game to point guard starters. Nearly seven assists. Um, D'Angelo Russell doesn't pass the ball much, but hey, Jeremy Lin is out for the season. They're going to need somebody to score on a really consistent basis, and D'Angelo is their best scorer on this team. At home in Brooklyn, first game at home. I love D'Angelo Russell at 7,300. I think he easily gets us like 45 DraftKings points here in this one. He's going to be needed to do a lot in this matchup. I love D'Angelo Russell. And a lot of people tend to just be like, oh, I'm going to spend up. You know, I'm going to get a big name. If you watch a lot of these YouTubers too, and that's what I don't understand, these guys will just straight up look at the name of the player and be like, oh, yeah, you got to play him because that's his name. He's, he's, Antecumpo, or he's a big name guy, so you have to play him. No, that's not the case, guys. When you got value like D'Angelo Russell at 73, he might not be a huge name player, but he's great offensively and he's in a perfect situation. At small forward, Robert Covington at 5,700. He looked like a big part of this young Philly offense. All right, I love him going against the young forwards of Boston. Now, Jalen Brown and Tatum have looked okay defensively but they still aren't going to be able to stop Covington. Covington can fill up the stat sheet in many categories. Uh, defensively, rebounds, three-pointers is his biggest asset. He can drain like eight three-pointers in one game. I love him in his first game at home in Philly. I love this game in general. I think it stays close. I like this new young Philly team. I think they start getting it together quick, sooner than later. And Robert Covington's going to be one of the ma their main staples on offense other than Ben Simmons. All right, because Markel Fultz is coming off the bench. So Robert Covington's relied on heavily to score points while he's in the game. All right, Tobias Harris at power forward. Uh, he looked like he's going to be the main guy for Detroit, man. La I mean, it was a, it's a great matchup this week. Washington's known all last year. They were known that you target forwards versus them. Okay, I hear people talking about Otto Porter. Otto Porter obviously isn't shit because forwards have been dominating him since for t like two years. Okay, last year especially. Last year I always targeted forwards versus Washington and it always worked out for me. Tobias Harris is in a great spot here. Like I said, man, I think eventually Avery Bradley's going to get it going and be one of the top dogs on that team. But for now, Tobias Harris has the g a great matchup here going against the forwards of Washington. He is going to dominate down low. Markeith Morris is out still, I believe. So it's going to be Jason Smith. Oh, I love it. Tobias is going to go off at 59, easily hit value. Next up, Demarcus Cousins going against a Draymond Greenless Golden State Warriors team. Draymond is a beast defensively, so he's always a force to be reckoned with when he's in the game down low. DeMarcus Cousins is going to annihilate Zaza Pachulia. There's nobody else they have that can stop him. Okay, McGee, none of them. None of those guys can handle DeMarcus Cousins. He's on another level. Okay, Draymond Green can't even stop him. But the fact that Draymond's out, 
DeMarcus Cousins is going to get like 70 DraftKings points here in this game. I love him at 10-4 and this matchup period against Golden State. This game is going to be a good one. I love it. I love DeMarcus Cousins at 10-4. Golden State will probably win this game, obviously, and there's a possibility they even pull away a little bit. But the fact it's in New Orleans and they're missing Draymond Green, I'm going to take some shares of DeMarcus Cousins. I have to at 10-4. I love him. All right, last but not least in the next guard spot, Lonzo Ball. Lonzo kind of got punked by Beverly, okay? Beverly made a statement to Lonzo last night, okay? You could tell. I mean, Beverly was just knocking him around, getting in his head, making him pissed off, all of that, all right? And Lonzo struggled a little bit in this first game. He's going to come out and want to prove everybody wrong. We all know what type of talent this kid has. He's a triple-double nightmare at any moment. Okay, and I think he has that potential here against a Phoenix team who gives up a shit ton of points to point guards. It was somewhere above like 47 DraftKings points they were giving on average to point guards last year. That is ridiculous. All right, and I think that is going to continue this year. They didn't do anything to fix any of that. All right, Lonzo Ball is an amazing play here in a fast-paced game. They're going to have all their young boys on the court for a lot of minutes here in this one because of the fast pace that Phoenix likes to play. I love Lonzo Ball in this matchup at 6,800. Lock him in. And there we go. D'Angelo Russell, Robert Covington, Tobias Harris, DeMarcus Cousins, and Lonzo Ball. Lock those guys in and you will have a great night. I am in a hurry right now since it's my fourth time. I am in a rush. I got to go. But if you guys want that value, hit me up on uh, Twitter, at Cam underscore ATL. Let's all come together. Let's talk about some value plays that we can play. And whatever, just follow me on Twitter, at Cam underscore ATL. Like the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Sign up at greenlightdfs.com. Make sure you're registered for the site so you can see the lineup right there on the screen. All right? And I'm out.